Okay, so we're gonna do a bit of a bonus video here, guys, of uh, putting the damper on and pinning it. Uh, we're putting an ATI a uh, Hemi here right now. We're just kind of taking a look, getting everything, getting our heads wrapped around it. Obviously, you need a seal before you push it on, or else you're gonna be counterproductive. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we got a super damper we're putting on this. Uh, part of the reason I went super damper, I'm going pro charged, and I'll be able to adjust the damper for boost applications, 18% over, 5% over, 25% over, under. Uh, so this is effectively what's going to go on. It was a little confusing because we saw a keyway. Yeah. And uh, that kind of threw us out for a loop. But then this is going to effectively go on there. Pushed basically right up against the uh, oil pump itself. There's nothing stopping, nothing basically allowing it to go past that little spot. So... We're gonna get set up and anything you want to add i guess or yeah i, I was been thinking on this here it looks like this ati damper it looks like it only goes on the one way i think we're gonna have to have this lined up but yeah we'll do some reading on it then we'll, we'll get started yeah it should only yeah reality is it but, should only go on one way but just cause these don't because this doesn't slip right no so then this has to be set to here at exactly where you want it for your zero for your guide. zero because right yeah. now right because right now we're yeah. at tdc we're at tdc and we're dialed at tdc like with the dial indicator so we're dead now. so we might as well install we know it's at top dead center we could mark the crank effectively yeah for where we know is top, top dead center yeah because they because then basically that way you can actually set your static time you can actually say you can, you can physically degree a crank if you're a degree your cam if you, if you wanted to cool yeah okay guys so the, one of the things we had to figure out was uh where we were going to effectively drill the keyway is what we're doing. So we uh, took a look at it. We said the only place that we could find where we could actually see the timing marks that were on our new balancer, these marks here, was directly under the under under the Jeep when it was when it's all put together because there's all the stuff in the way. So now we've lined up the uh, the TDC mark here. We've lined that up so it's come straight down so we can actually check it if for some reason you gotta find TDC in the in the unit. And then we lined up the keyway which is in the back of here. Yep. With this mark right here, so now we're going to drill our we're going to drill for our pin, which slots into this keyway here, so this doesn't slide, which is the whole point. We're going to drill that right there, and then that way it'll slide in, and we can actually keep track of where our TDC mark will be. And that does become in handy when you're doing in vehicle top dead center. Your guy can hop underneath, yeah. roll it over. Okay, I'm top dead center. Checking your valves just in case you lose another lifter or something like that. You know, a guy wants to you know want to just check it real quick. Funny guy. <laughs> so now the part that's actually kind of stressful okay. pinning um, crank pin drill fixture for Hemi we're uh, just getting the there's two bushings guys a dream bushing and a oh. drill bushing so now we have it in place you know, assemble it you have to assemble this so it gets all the way down so you bottomed out on the crank like that then we're gonna line this up here with our mark that we previously made and we're gonna tighten that down with a crank bolt his mom was asking if the glue would be able to come to mom, but I like, well, it says like to lock tight it. I don't think we'll have to lock tight it. No, I don't think so either. See, it moved like that, just like that there already. So. It's moving. How much does it move? Uh, it moved about a centimeter. Move CHA. Yeah, yeah, that did yeah, move. Yeah, it did move. They're always dead when you need them. Oh, he was loading her up too much. Here's the yeah, well, I don't want the charger for you. Oh, yeah. That appears to be it. That's it. Come We're on. in the center bore. I believe so. Now we back this off, change to the reamer. I don't know if we're in the center bore here yet. I might have been drilling into the bolt. That's what I'm trying to figure out here. It looks like we're all the way through. I'll say yes. 
How long is our pin? How long? Yeah, it's not long. Long enough. <laughs> not the size, it's how you use it. I'm still getting some chip. But we're going to be drilling into the bolt. Yeah. But if we're not all the way through, we don't want to release. Whatever. No, yeah, you're right. I'll take a little better look once you get this out. Yeah. That's the whole point of having the jig. <laughs> yeah, that is the whole point of having the jig. <laughs> oh, there we go. I was going to say, it's <laughs> machined in just a way. Air blower. We had to go back to drilling a little bit. These like 40 minute videos for guys installing dampers and pinning. You understand why now? Huh? Yeah, totally get why. We took a second guys to do some measurements to make sure the reamer was the right size. We're actually going into the guide so we don't have to put a lot of pressure into it to start. So now we know it, because we mic'd everything, we know that everything is the right, is the correct size. So now, we are good. Still fighting this. Push up. That might be it. Yeah, it's the end of the hole. <laughs> Perfect. We are just about pinned, dampered, and then we get the fun time of wrapping it, putting it in the back of the truck, getting it out of here. Supper time. And then supper time, yeah. <laughs> so when we're all nice and reamed and everything, you can see we're actually really close. We moved a hair, but now we have a beautiful pin here. That's our top dead center pin. We are gonna put the seal on because we won't get the pin on with the seal not in place, I won't get the seal over the pin. And uh, yeah, we're literally one step closer to just being done and almost ready to bolt in. There's a couple other things we need to take care of first. Final paint, oil cooler, little things guys, little things. Hey okay, guys, so we're gonna go back to, this is a couple weeks ago that Robin and I did the drilling on this video, so I'm sorry that the engines changed place. You see that the pin's now fully inserted here. I actually uh, went and grabbed another 3 16 diameter pin and uh, shortened it to 13 millimeters. Uh, what they supplied was 12.5. I found that there was just enough clearance still to go with a 13 mil. Uh, swelling should be okay. Uh, there's still about a half a millimeter of clearance. What you're gonna do then is basically insert the pin all the way and you can see it's not all the way through yet. And there's really not much out, but that's just enough for this to uh, get by the crank pulley. There's a couple different methods to install these. A, make sure you lubricate everything thoroughly. Line it up. Once you have it lined up, you should be able to basically push on to start the sequence of getting this on. Uh, Oh, my bearing's still in there. So we're gonna grab the installer kit and uh, we're actually gonna pull the crank pulley onto the engine. I would use the bolt, but I'm gonna use this. I have an installer. I might as well use the proper installer. Installer is dirt cheap, seven eighths. You just set yourself up to basically pull the pulley on. What was that, sir? You ever seen a snaggle tooth? <laughs> so Tyler's back in the picture for now. Actually, a lot more. A lot more. Uh, we had a couple videos early, early, early in the YouTube channel career when he was still married. <laughs> don't, no, no, don't say it. <laughs> Anyways, he's going to pick up the camera and I'm going to start pulling this pulley into place. Or Paul can. I don't care. Uh, Joe, do you still need me? It won't take long. 
Hey, so this is my cameo because the camera's facing my way. But you know what? Let's get back to the regular program here. Again, guys, like I said, make sure you lubricate the threads. And literally, he's using the socket to pull it into place. Nothing worse than going in dry. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. I really hope that makes the video. <laughs> Well, I'm working on this, so it probably will. This isn't this part of the video is not that long. That's what she said. <laughs> Here we go again. So after you get this on, effectively you're going to be fairly well flush. And uh, reality is the final torque should pull it all the way. Make sure you do torque these to the ATI spec. 28 foot pounds 16 for the t40s and the 12 points are 28 foot pounds it's right on the installation and removal anyways guys we're gonna keep moving forward i just kind of wanted to give you guys the insight on how the ati pinning kit works and you can see right here it is perfect and that's just going to stop it from effectively rolling over and losing and slipping on the crank which does happen now what that hap what happens then is it'll get worse and worse every time because it's going to start self machining the crank once it self machines the crank probably need a new crank that's gonna cut it for this video guys if you liked what you saw please give me a like a share it goes a long way for a small content creator and if you aren't subscribed already consider subscribing it's free and I'm hoping to produce more content like this Stay running off-road. I'll see you in the next one. Go dummy, go beast. I don't know. I go beast. Go deep, I